Hi, welcome back to the channel. So it's a little bit of a big update, uh, but something a little bit different. Today I want to talk about seats. Uh, since I've been racing, I've had four seats so far and I've never got one I like. I've had two GT Amiga seats, which trust me, do not buy them. They're absolutely awful. I've had a Sparco one that was quite nice and a Cobra one, which I didn't like. Um, and I've just been sick of it, can never get comfortable for a long race. And this is now what I have. This is a seat out of an uh, F92, sorry, E92, BMW. So it's a coupe, 2009 it came out of. And this seat had done 30 or 40,000 miles. As you can see, it's full leather. I paid £40 for this delivered from eBay from a, a wrecker. Uh, they had two, they had the driver's side and the passenger side and they were both for sale for £50 or best offer so I offered 40 not expecting to get it and it came two days later which is amazing because I don't know how much post was to cost. As you can see the seat is in fantastic condition and it is black leather. It has a adjustable, this is adjustable which is why I like the seat so much. I, I've had a couple of BMWs with these seats in. It is, let's go down here. Let's go down here. So as you can see, it has up and down controls there that are electric and then it has the reclining back. They're wired up to 12 volt. Very simple to do. You also have a lumbar support switch here. If I can show you, it's getting dark down there. But there is a lumbar support switch down there which probably makes these firm, go firmer. I have them set to how I like them and then it has a manual adjuster for backwards and forwards and one of the great things that works is obviously it's come out of a two door car so that's how you pull your seat forward and it will let your seat go all the way forward so if you need to get in the back of the rig it's now dead easy. The only thing I had to do with this rig is this bottom rail here used to have another piece that came off it maybe that length that kind of lens where it bolted to the floor on a BM because of the way the transmission tunnel is so I had to cut that off so all I did was ground that off and I just put some quick bit of black paint I had back on there and I, I couldn't get the plastic cover that goes on here because it does catch on there apart from that it's perfect you can make the plastic cover fit and maybe just this rig um, and I have two side pieces which you don't normally have on a rig I have two of these one on each side uh, when you buy a big you only tend to get one I paid extra for another one. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the seat and for £40, I'm not saying everybody should go doing this, but it really is easy, especially on one of these rigs, because these bars here, these two, one on each side, just unbolt. So you take them out and then you put the rig, you put your seat onto them and just bolt them back in. So simple to do, very easy to work on this rig. I think everything else is how I've showed it you last time. I don't think I've changed anything really. I've got a table there now just to put my keyboard and mouse on, which I prefer. The rig itself hasn't really changed. The monitors are as they were. So I have the G9 and then two ViewSonics. To be honest with you, I, I, I don't understand the hype on these G9s. I don't think they're particularly great. I don't think the brightness is decent on them, but I certainly don't think they're worth the money. Uh, I still probably thought I had a good enough image with the 332s. The only reason I changed the 332s is I broke one. Because I was modifying something. And then I have my other monitor up the top. Which is just what I use. And the only thing I now use this for is race position. So I have a... When I'm driving I have a grid on here. Sorry, a grid. I have a thing that tells me my position, my lap times and so forth. And everything else is just as it was. I've still got the wind simulator I still running this wheel which is probably now got well over 200 hours on it and it's just starting to wear there I slightly I do wear gloves but with 200 hours you can expect no more but I'm going to buy some new grips and pineapple grips um, and everything else I think is just as it was oh I've changed the way the sound system works so I have a Sony 5.1 surround sound system now and it does sound amazing and I've still got the headset for VR which I don't tend to use as much as I thought I would but yeah these things I still need to do a video on if you can see these two wings that I have here 
these show me various things, but the main thing they're showing me is if I've got a car to my left and or right when I'm on the track, they tell me if I pit, what gear I'm in, etc, etc. Really, really nice. I think they're 90 quid for a pair, and so easy to set up on Arduino, and they just work through. Same hope. I think that's about it. Just a quick video. I haven't made one for a little bit, and I've got some more videos coming up, but I just wanted to do a video on this seat, because I think it's an amazing... I wanted a Subaru seat, which is what I was looking for at first and couldn't find one or I could find them and they're in bad condition so I decided to go for the BMW seat and I'm really glad I am and of course it's the biggest advantage you get over the ones you buy for sim racing is this is an actual seat from a car so it's much stronger it probably weighs twice as much I will warn you of that and of course this thing's real leather there's no pretend leather on this thing at all so Thanks ever so much for watching, hope you have a fantastic day, hope you enjoyed this little video. Any questions about the rig, don't hesitate to ask, and I'll see you soon.